As a global community, we have come a long way in improving the rights of women and children. But we can still achieve much more and do better, since our ultimate goal is to ensure that every woman and every child everywhere can lead a life of dignity. It is absolutely unacceptable that every year 14 million girls marry before they turn 18. And if we continue with the business as usual, that means 142 million girls will marry as children between 2010 and 2020. These are 14 million girls who are being ignored and are being left behind every year. Girls and women are viewed as inferior to boys and men. They are vulnerable to a practice in which they have no say and which has a devastating impact on them emotionally as well as on their physical and psychological health. When girls marry as children, they drop out of school, they become isolated, and they are hard to reach with health care programs which are designed for adult women. We find that these girls have to prove their fertility and too often die because they are too young to bear children. Of the 16 million adolescent girls who give birth every year, 90% are already married. In developing countries, complications from pregnancy and childbirth are the leading cause of death for adolescent girls. By reducing child marriage, we will see fewer girls and women dying in childbirth and more children surviving their first year of life. We know what it will take to end child marriage. We need a partnership across sectors such as education, health, and justice. By working together and committing to a concrete plan of action, we can unleash a wave of change. One specific step is to strengthen the registration of births and marriages. Because where civil registration is weak, there's no record of girls' birth, and it becomes easy to marry them off. Better birth and marriage registration will make it easier to prove a girl's age at marriage. And it will also help us to reach child brides with the right programs and services. Another step is keeping girls in school at the very least until secondary school. Child marriage undermines our efforts to ensure well-being for all. This is an issue of choices imposed on vulnerable girls by their parents and society. This is equally an issue of education, of health, of poverty, and of human rights the right to choose, to be alive, to develop. All these issues are linked to ending the practice of child marriage. We need to be very critical with ourselves on how we are doing our work if the numbers of child brides are to be cut down dramatically. Collectively, we must end the practice of child marriage. I thank you.